everybody and welcome back to Cape Fear Court. I've seen a lot of a lot of posts lately on social media um, asking about um, basically how to how do you pot plants for the pond? Um, they're, they've been complaining about dirt spilling everywhere, uh, the water getting soiled up and, and just making a mess. So I'm just going to show you real quick. We're going to eliminate all the dirt, all the mess, and we're just going to put rocks in there. You can use pea gravel or um, larger stones. Uh, the, ideally, what you want to do is, when, when you're doing, doing it with rocks, have the rocks be large enough so the koi or the goldfish can't pick up your rocks and spit them out. Um, in the beginning when I tried this, I didn't use rocks large enough and I came out the next day and I had all the rocks were, were picked up and, and the uh, plants were floating because uh, the, the koi, they love, they love to get in there and root and eat the roots and pick and play and it's a big game for them, but for us, it's not that funny. So uh, it's gonna be a real simple video. Uh, stick around and we're gonna show you what we do. All right, see ya. Just a few samples that we can use are irises, elephant ears, these are tropicanas, but all, all cannas will work. Um, these here, we can use lily pads, Thalia, also known as water canna. These grow um, up to eight feet tall after the bloom. Uh, these are jumbo elephant ears. This one here is uh, commonly known as umbrella palms. And th those are the ones I have. And uh, I've got various lilies here and obviously right here. So today we're gonna be planting pickerel weed or known as pickerel plant, pickerel flower. Uh, this one grows about It'll grow about two, two and a half feet tall with a nice purple flower. So um, it's very, real simple. Take these roots, just all bare, no dirt, no soil. And here I'll, I'll zoom in in a moment here to show you these new roots. I split this about three days ago and I'm already getting roots that are two and a half inches. So within a week after planting this in your rocks, all these roots will work their way through all the gravel and, and lock in and, and they won't fall over. So super simple, take yourself a clean, yeah, get yourself a clean uh, basket or a pot, just set it in. I'm gonna actually put a little bit down first. Throw it in. What are you using there? Oh yeah, that's important. So this is pea gravel here. This is about roughly a quarter inch. You can use quarter inch. Uh, you can use, you can half inch, depending on whatever you're using, you could use larger pieces. Since this is a smaller plant, I plan on keeping it small. I'm just using uh, smaller, smaller stones. And I'm also um, gonna sell this here. So I'm not gonna fill this all the way to the top because I won't, won't need it for that purpose because Generally, people are gonna transplant this into a larger pot, but you can use big rocks like this. Um, these here, I'm gonna use as my top when I'm done, and that's gonna keep any fish, if I do put it where some fish are gonna be, that's for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna show you these. So the, the koi especially, they love to root, they love to get in there. So you put these on top, and, and then this will keep the koi from getting down and spitting. Because I've seen these before, I've done it with just these, and I come out the next day and the whole bottom of the pond is covered in stones because they pick these up and spit them out. It's a game to them. Um, so here, we're just gonna throw them in there on top as well. So once those are in. Set these on top. That way the koi can't get to them. And then this is ready for the water. You just take this, put it right in the water, and ideally, if you are gonna put plants in to keep the fish from digging down into your plants, the water level, just make it just, just above the, the rim here. That way the fish can't swim in and get in inside. And I'll show you the ponds, or our pond, we have a few over there, and we have them just above, or just below the surface. The water is just above the line, so you can't see them. And that's it. Drop them in and you're done. Super simple. It'll save your pond. 
as far as all the dirt and soil and the mess and the headache. And I've done this for years. I've never had a problem. Um, this will grow to full height, no problem, because it's getting all of its nutrients through the water, where before in the wild, normally it's in the, it's in the mud and the dirt and soil. But here, it's using all the, all the nutrients from the fish waste, and, and it's just helping with your conversion or your filtration if you want to go that route. And there you go. Super simple, super easy, and I hope this helps. And if you found this helpful, uh, go ahead, hit subscribe. We'll be doing more of these little videos like this, just to give some, some tidbits and ideas. And, um, well, we'll see you on the next one. Until then, happy ponding. We'll see you later. Keep your cool. See ya.